Hey everyone, we're so excited to have you guys here today because it's the first weekend of freedom in Sydney. So we're going to the Sydney city and we're going to be trying some of our favorite foods that we haven't had in over three months. Let's go. So we're getting off at town hall today and it's so great to see all these amazing people out and about in the city. We haven't been here for over three months and it looks like a lot of other people haven't either. So it's super busy. There's even some lines outside places, which is pretty cool. And I think just like us, everyone can't wait to get out and explore Sydney again. So our first stop today is Gumshara. It's out in the back streets of Chinatown in this little food court. And we're super excited to come, but it does look like they're actually close at the moment. Not to worry though, they're opening up again at five o'clock, so we'll be back later to check them out. While we're waiting, we decided to stop in at Zingfu Tang, one of our favorite milk tea places. They have branches all over the world, and this is one of their little ones in Chinatown. So today we're ordering the Signature Brown Sugar Boba Milk. It's a bit of a mouthful to say, but it's so good. There's so much sugar in it and it's just a really sweet, delicious drink. And it's really cool because they make this little cream brulee on top, which is great to eat and so sugary. Another really cool thing they have at Zingfu Tang are these little fortune cards. You pick your stick and then it corresponds to one of the boxes up the top there. So today I've got this one that says, Faith will lead you to meet the love of your life. Believe in it. Oh look, what a coincidence. <laughs> He's got no idea what I'm talking about. Anyway, so the tea is done. Now we need to stir it 18 times, just like the shop owner says. And that way all the sugar gets mixed in perfectly and it's ready to drink. Next up guys, we're trying out this brand new pancake place in the galleries, just up near Town Hall. It's called Graham Pancakes, and they've just opened this week, so it's super busy, people are excited. They do have a version of this at Chatswood, one of their other branches, um, but we're just excited to try out their new one here in the city. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So looking through the menu, there's so many good options here. Definitely a great place if you love desserts. We ended up ordering the premium pancakes, which is their signature fluffy pancakes. So jiggly. And it comes with this awesome maple syrup so you can pour it all over. It was so good. And honestly, we were so impressed by these pancakes. We've had fluffy pancakes before at other places, but they weren't like these. These ones were much sweeter. They didn't have that eggy flavor, which sometimes you get from souffle pancakes. And overall, it was just such a good option. We were so happy with these. And honestly, we'll be back for more. Now, Graham Pancakes, they do these awesome little takeaway pancakes. They have a cream inside, different flavors. We decided to go for matcha and it was really good. We were looking at the chocolate, but we're definitely glad we picked matcha because it was just the right amount of sweetness 
and overall really tasty as well. Okay guys, we're back at Gamshara for round two. And the reason that they're closed during the day is so that they have time to make their beautiful thick broth. It's made completely from pork bones, so they need lots of time for that gelatin to come out of the bones and into the soup. Another really cool thing at Gumshara is this free little condiment bar they have. You can add all these onto your ramen, and as well they have these extra soups so you can thin out the thick uh, gravy that they have. Here's our order ready to go, and we've got the mini pork spare rib and just a regular tonkatsu as well. Honestly, it looks so good. We're adding a few little sesame seeds on here as condiments. And we've also popped some green shallots on top as well at the counter. And yeah, let's get stuck in. Now you can't hear it, but we are slurping down these noodles. They're so good. The broth has such a rich flavor, just what you'd expect here from Gamshara. And it's super busy and everyone's ordering the same thing, this beautiful, rich tonkatsu soup. Honestly, we can't get enough and let's keep eating. Okay guys, so the ramen is done and we couldn't be fuller if we tried. But before we head home, we're just gonna duck down to IGA in Market City. This is one of these amazing Asian supermarkets. You can pretty much get anything your heart desires here. Look at all these noodles that they have. We were excited to get this one with mayonnaise on it. Pretty cool. And they even have a hamburger flavor too. <laughs> Anyway, so after we've gone through all the aisles, had a look at all the fun stuff there that we can use for cooking at home, we decided to get a few drinks and these mochi ice creams. Um, the green tea flavor is pretty nice. Just as a little bit of dessert, since we've already had pancakes today, we didn't want to go too far. But yeah, that's us done for the day. Join us for more videos of Sydney.